If the mountain seems too big today, then climb a hill instead. If the morning brings you sadness, it's okay to stay in bed. If the day ahead weighs heavy and your plans feel like a curse, there's no shame in rearranging. Don't make yourself feel worse. If a shower stings like needle and a bath feels like you will drown, if you haven't washed your hair for days, don't throw away your crown. A day is not a lifetime. A rest is not defeat. Don't think of it as failure. Just a quiet, kind retreat. It's okay to take a moment from an anxious, fractured mind. The world will not stop turning while you just get realigned. A mountain will still be there when you want to try again. You can climb it in your own time. Just love yourself till then. I thought that was so lovely and, and to give ourselves permission to do that, to take time out, to take the time we need to do things that, yes, sometimes we want to do, that really haven't got the energy uh, that day. It's okay. There's always tomorrow. So look after yourself. Be kind to yourself. Kindness is a huge um, thing at the moment that, that so many people uh, are trying to promote. And um, being kind to yourself is just as important as being kind to other people too. So, a very short prayer to finish us off for today. And it's it's a modern prayer from Berlin and it's called Light Through a Gap. And it's very short. Light comes through a gap in the curtains, the promise of morning. Light comes through the flaws of our lives the promise of love. Amen. And just to clarify, flaws was F-L-A-W-S rather than F-L-O-O-R-S. So light comes through the flaws of our lives, the promise of love. So thank you so, so much.